Hello, uh, Charles. I thought we'd send you a, a video of what we've been doing with your clock. Um, it's up on the wall. Um, the bottom, you know, the top is hooked and the bottom is free to move around. What you might consider doing once you get it set up at home is running the drywall screw right Put, move the pendulum and put it behind the pendulum and just run it right through the clock and through the wall. Some, a lot of people hesitate on doing that, but we do that with all of our clocks. Uh, that way when you wind it, this thing is going to be really tight against the wall and it, it won't move. If you don't want to do that, once you get it set up correctly, uh, put a pencil mark on the side so that you can if it slips while you're winding it, that you can put it back where it was. But oh, that drywall trick really is wonderful. Of course, it puts an extra hole in your wall, it puts a hole in your clock, but to me, it's really worth it. Um, here's the, the glass that popped out on the trip. We're planning on shipping it tomorrow. Well, actually, today is it's about three, three o'clock in the morning, and right now two or three. And but anyhow, we'll put that in and and ship it later on today. Uh, for the purposes of this video, what I'm going to do is put this uh, amplifier on the clock so you can hear it ticking really good, especially because there's other clocks in here. Now if you hear it ticking like that, the clock's going to stop. Notice it sounds sort of like a heartbeat. It's going bump, 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 bump. What we want to hear is bump, 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 bump. bump but even like that. And the way to make it even is you just move the bottom a little bit. Put it one way and the other until you finally get it right. See, that's even worse. Now it's so bad it, it won't even tick at all. See, that's, that's really terrible there. So I'll move it, move it this way. I see that's nice and even. Now, once you get it like that, uh, then you would mark your wall or put, run your drywall screw like through there. If you're not sure if it's even, we'll be glad to call you up on the telephone and listen to it for you. Um, another thing you have to watch is if these hands can get tangled up so uh, if, if in shipping the hands get a little bit loose or whatever and then they come here and they get tangled up um, it'll stop the clock I can tell it's working real good. Uh, we, we hung it up here and uh, see 
that's nice and even. If you go a little bit off to the side, gets a nut even. Move it again. Now notice I'm not using a bubble or or anything like that. The only way that you can do it is by listening. What I'm going to do is take this off of here because it's clamped onto the hand shaft and it might put enough pressure on the hand shaft to stop the clock so I'll take it off and I'll just leave it run now for uh, you know 15 or 20 minutes just so that you can see that that it's working fine so if if you uh, have trouble listening to it and it won't stay running for you uh, shoot us out an email and send your uh, phone number and a good time for us to call you and we'll listen to it and we'll get it just right and then you can put your mark on the side.